winner for this challenge is Team Lanya. <laughs> This is going to be a very, very physical, but also a very mental challenge to get it right. Alright guys, so today's challenge will consist of three parts. The first part will require you guys to man pack from the system from one end to the other. The second part will include the deployment section. And the last part will be the simulator session. Are you guys ready? Yes! Okay, so Team ready. Paul, you're up. Okay. Okay, let's go okay, let's, team, let's go, let's, let's go, let's go. Okay. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Ready? Ready. Three, ready. two, one, go. Okay. Okay, Paul, let's Paul first. Set it up first. Slowly, uh, slowly, slowly. All right, I'll be in front. The first part of the challenge was the man pack, which basically is getting the equipment on our, on our backs, uh, walking about 100 meters, and getting the equipment off safely. One. Two. Two. Three. Push. Oh. Okay. Got okay. it. Got it. Got it. Ready. One, two, three. Okay. okay. Again, I think the hardest part of all that would have been Cheryl, just because of the size factor. For her to carry that equipment and for her to keep stride with me and Carla it would have been difficult. Oh, no. I did the... No. How do I put it back? Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, sorry. How do I put it back? When I was trying to wear the missile, I accidentally pulled the, the quick eject rather than the straps to tighten. So the whole thing came out. So we, we fumbled with that a lot. I think we lost a good 40-50 seconds. Uh, I think we need help with this. We don't know how to put it back. It's like this. Look, Carla, look, look. Ah! Put that one over. We were not, we were not taught how to, one, how to... Put, put that one over. Wait, it's falling, it's falling. Yeah, yeah I got it. Okay. Take that thing out, put that one over. Clap it. Down. Yeah. Okay. okay, go. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Okay. Got it. Go, go, go. Yeah, go to the front. Yeah. Triangle formation. Okay. Okay, let's go. This thing. Oh, oh, go, Cheryl, go. go. Come on, Cheryl. Come on. Move those legs. 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 I have 42 legs. I have short legs. Okay. <laughs> when I was running, the missile was bonking on my head, so I was like, bong, bong, bong. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, Cheryl. Yes. We can do it. We can do it. Keep coming. Keep coming. We can do it. We can do it. Yay! Okay. Do everything now. Okay. okay. Three, two, go. one. Okay. Nice. Two, one, go. Down. Okay. Right, right down. Hey, oh. Not easy. <sighs> Not easy. Let's <laughs> go this time. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh. Okay, Perfect. Okay, my turn. On three, ready. One, two, three. Ooh. Nice. Okay. okay, let's go. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. On three, ready. Two. One, two, three. three. Oh. Okay, stagger. Okay. Stagger, I'm in the front. We went through quite effortlessly, you know, not fumbling for most parts of it. And uh, we stuck to brisk walking. And Benzo was singing and he was uplifting our mood. So it was really nice. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Bro, I think you gotta sing, I cannot see this. <laughs> To be honest, walking with um, these equipment is really tough. Even though it's just 100 meters, like we felt that at the end of the walk, we actually felt it. It's like, wow, it's actually quite exhausting like to, to walk 100 meters with the equipment. Ready? One, Watch your head. two, three. I got it. Go. Squat, Thanks squat, squat. Nice and oh, easy. Okay. One, two, three. I got you. Nice. Okay, clear. For the deployment, we had a strategy because we didn't want to waste any more time, right? And it's time-based. So what we did was uh, Benzo and Lanya, they went first to set up the stand. Then after that, I carry all the things towards the stand so that it makes it everything easier and efficient. Okay. All right. Stay clear. Stay clear. 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 Oh, wait, wait, no, it's supposed hey. to. This is not supposed to come out. Sorry, sorry. During the assembly of the missile, I flipped the, the tripod a little bit too early and, and then I had to flip it back and then open the legs and then flip it over again, which definitely cost us some time. Clap. Go. Clap. Clear. 
Good job, okay. Just before that challenge, we were told that the assembly would require only one personnel to handle each component. Again, with Cheryl, just not being able to lift up her piece of the equipment, the, uh, the missile itself, to put on to the Trapeter launching system. Uh, I had to step in to do that. But actually, I didn't train too much in doing that during the training. So we kind of lost our flow a little bit when it came to that part of the challenge. All right. Are we OK? Yeah. Everything's secure? Everything's removed already, right? OK, yes. nice. OK. And we did miss some few small details to the, until the end. Then we, we okay. checked everything we realised, oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you release the lever, okay. you have to okay. push it back up. But because when you're in the challenge, you release the lever and then you move on to the next, to the next task. So therefore, like, you know that lever will be just hanging there until the last part, like, oh my god, I forgot about this lever again. Okay, guys, I think we're good. Awesome! Yeah. Nice, right, great job. Good job, good job. Nice, nice. nice. Okay, uh, with that, I think you're done. Woo! Yes, nice. Woo! Good job, guys. Hey, hey. I think we did well. We did well. Yeah, we Sorry. did well. Too fast, yeah. too fast yeah. to dance. Yeah. I think that was okay. Very yeah. smooth. Okay, guys, welcome to the third part of the challenge. This is the RBS MT simulator system that we're going to use for our third part of the challenge, okay? So, what will happen is that we have three shots. Your first shot is your practice shot. Your second and your third shots are your assess slots. Okay, so when we got the scoring system and then it will be aggregated throughout the team member and the lowest scoring team will be the one that wins the challenge. Okay, are you guys ready for the challenge? Yes, yes. Yeah. let's go! Okay, let's go. So Team Lanya, you're up first. Oh, alright. We can do it, we can do it. We got it, we got it. We got it. We got it. The lowest, huh? Oh. the lowest. Okay, Team Lanya, are you guys ready? Alright, let's, let's go, let's go. go. Okay, commencing your practice profile now. Okay, uh, Lanya, you missed the profile. Ah. Okay, right, 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 right. Got it, got it. It's okay. Practice shot, practice shot. Yeah, no sweat. Shot. Oh, yeah, fingers, no, man. that was okay. so close. Okay, commencing uh, actual shot one. Pray for me, guys. Got this, right. you got this, hey. Okay. Start of profile now. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. That's our team leader right there, man. Nice, right. nice, nice. First challenge round is in the first uh, shot that I had to take. I managed to get the plane, the target. The second one, I didn't even know was a moving target. The whole colour of the screen changed. I'm like, why is this yellow? I've never seen this before. And I just went, this is a trick! <laughs> I've been tricked into this. Okay, end of profile, you didn't get it. Oh okay. my god. Right. I Okay, good try, good try. Okay, good try, good try. Y'all didn't tell me you guys were gonna do the moving profile. It's okay, also just no. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> that was so oh, tough. No. Oh, that was man. so tough, but okay, never mind. Okay, are you ready? Uh, commenting profile, three, two, one. And then it was David's turn. And I could tell he was nervous because I saw his like finger go over the joystick. He was just flicking it. I was like, oh, like, this is not how confident he was. I missed all my shots. <laughs> oh, you missed the target. Oh, oh uh, you missed the target. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, yeah, you didn't get it. Oh, it's okay. Good try. Yes. Good try. Good try. Okay. Good try. I'm so, so proud hey. of you. Let's go, bro. Why does it feel like it's harder than the practice one? Okay, to be fair, it's like quite stressful when you put on the hot seat, right? It's a lot of pressure, but you know, I did my best and uh, I saw that Benzo was able to, you know, clutch the team a bit, you know. He managed to hit during the practice and the stationary shot. There we go. Nice. Bro. Good shot. Done, it. Fast and precise, bro. That was so quick. Oh my Wait, god. Man, I, I, I got one machine at home. So it's then last time I was practicing real hard. One, steady. Nice. Woo! Good shot. Good shot. Yeah, the third challenge was a breeze for us. We were really into it. Like, even our practice shots hit so fast. Although two of us didn't hit the moving target during the actual challenge, but Paul did. I did that quite well, actually. I was uh, quite impressed with myself. Hit. Hit. Nice. Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice. Good shot. Good shot. Nice. Oh, hit. Good job. That was so fast. That was so fast. Now oh, the right. trick is, how many of the moving did they hit? Yeah. Can you tell us? Can you tell us? <laughs> I am telling you right now, but can you read my lips? Come <laughs> <laughs> here with your eyes. Come here with your eyes. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, we have come to the end of the challenge. A round of applause for you guys. Congratulations everyone. Good job, everybody. Well done, well done, well done. To Team Paul, I like your energy. Yes. Team Lania, I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> but unfortunately, we can only have one winner for this challenge. Mm. And the winner for this challenge is... Team Lania. Oh. Overall, you know Team Lani is going to win. Did you see how effortless we were in our first two rounds? I mean, that's two out of three. I think that's a high score. Yes. 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 We, we, we did well. We did well. Okay. Oh my okay. God. Okay, you want to get? Congratulations. Well deserved. Well deserved. Uh, you know, at some point, we're just going to have to do some redemption somewhere down the line. Uh, but yeah, Team Rania, I'll have to give it to you today. You, 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 I'll give you today. I'll give you today. You, 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 you win. <laughs> but you know what? Thank you, Carla D, as well as David Matthews, for being amazing super yes. subs and really taking us through these like challenges. Yes. But you know what? We're going to have to move on to the next challenge. We, we, we do, we do. So at least we're going to get back Vanessa and Farah to join us on our next challenge. But thank you guys for joining us and uh, we'll go. We'll move on to the next challenge. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the power and radar control simulator. So okay. now, this is how it works. Okay, we have uh, Team Lania to stay down here in the radar room. Oh. And we have Team Paul to go up to the power simulator. Oh, okay. okay, the power simulator is, is upstairs. So, let's go. Okay, thank you, sir. Good luck. Okay, come on. So basically, air traffic control is a combination of uh, ground-based uh, services that we provide at the aerodrome and also at the radar to ensure that aircraft are safely separated as well as there's an orderly flow of uh, air traffic both for the departure and arrival phases. Uh, and this also includes the provision of uh, services uh, and assistance to aircraft encountering emergencies. Okay, hi everyone, um, I'm Captain MD and my call sign is Helium. Uh, today I'm here to teach you guys how to use the radar simulator to learn how to control aircraft using the radar. Cool! Okay, so I'll now give you a brief introduction on uh, what you see on the screen. So basically this is the map of Singapore. Mm. And uh, we see all these little green uh, plots over here. These are all the representations of an aircraft. Uh, so over here, you see the, um, the call sign Condor. Yeah. So that's yeah. how we address an aircraft. Right. Oh. Um, C1020 uh, is um, mode Charlie of uh, 2,000 feet, which means this aircraft is at 2,000 feet. Oh. Okay, the 228 represents the speed of an aircraft. Mm. Okay, so mm. this, currently, this aircraft is at 2,500 feet and uh, flying at a speed of uh, 229. Hi, guys. Yeah. Hi. Welcome to 360 Simulator. I'm Captain James, call sign Blaze. Yeah, this is where you do your controlling for launch and recovery for aircraft. Tower position will be here, ground position will be there. Uh, as a tower controller, we need to ensure all the platform is cleared for the approach. This is where you need to do all the twist and turn, remembering, multitasking, and ensure that all aircraft could launch, recover, and do their profiles safe. So with the air traffic control, uh, again, three roles. You had the air warfare officer and the ground control, who were together in the tower. Shepard, Whiskey 9, proceed Whiskey Taxiway, Whiskey Charlie. Nice. nice. And then you had the roll, which was more the radar. Western coast, 2,000 feet. Contact approach. Contact approach. 263. 263. Decimal 4. Decimal 4. Very good. Hello. <laughs> approach room. Oh, approach. approach. Approach, approach. Rhino, depart west coast, 2,000 feet. Report Morai. Western coast. Huh? Western coast? What did I say? You said west coast. West coast. <laughs> I'm west, west coast. <laughs> you are to comply with all instructions or risk being shot down. Don't you mess with me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm where you're going. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Wow. You did great. Uh, you too. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lania is a bit more candid, more jovial. They tend to not take it so seriously. But uh, I think after tonight, after all they are practicing and all these things, they should be good to go tomorrow as well. So do you enjoy this? Uh, I do. You do? I do. He cannot say anything else, Lanya. He genuinely enjoys it. He's know? on camera. He <laughs> cannot say, bring Blink. this uniform. <laughs> Just now I was asking how do you adjust this. You can just eh how do you pull his? Oh, you you can press the the middle button. Then you can 
Oh, middle button. Yeah, yeah, that was my question. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. Hey, tips, huh? Tips, man. Did I ask you this? No. Good. We don't have to say anything. <laughs> okay. okay. In our challenge, do we know where the vicinity and the squawk is? Uh, what, what the squawk is? Yes. Team Paul was very focused. Uh, they were very determined to win. I understand that they needed some points in order to catch up to yeah, Team Lanya. Right. So uh, I think they are good to go. And this is something that the previous team did not know yet. Nice. No, 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 not all <laughs> yet. Will not know at all because they finished their training with you. Okay. Yes. If they don't ask the right questions, they shouldn't get the right answers. That sorry, is so sorry. True. If they're not the one to learn, then it's not our problem. Okay. That's so competitive. That training was actually really difficult because there was a lot to learn and remembering all the call signs, all the protocols. It was very strict. Like, you had to get everything right. It could be very confusing. Master. Master. Depart Western Coast, 2,000 feet. Clear. So, uh, clear. Take off. Take off. Runway. Uh, runway 36, surface wind 010, 900 knots, barry hook wire up. Report for NME. For DME. For DME. With gears. With gears. Uh, Notification. Notification, Batman 2. F16. Uh, uh, Batman 2, F16. For? For Western Coast Departure. That's it. That's it. That's it. He's laughing at me, I can hear the so... laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing at her? Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> it's very cute. Hello, hello, he's very much in violent. There are more than 10 commands because landing one, one, one command and you need to know your runway and you need to know which hangar the plane is about to take off. And with the plane taking off from their hangar, there's also a command for them to move to the runway. So we see how to remember. One more time, huh? Sorry, uh, sir. No problem, no problem. A lot of things yeah. inside my head. Yes, oh, I yeah, think. Oh yeah, that would be so helpful. <laughs> I'm just like, it's been there. Wow. That was a script. That the was a script time. the whole time? How could we miss that? Do we get to refer to this? I think we should. Because if not, the place are all going to crash. tonight, we must go memorize me tonight. Uh, no, you need to memorize. Be... Yes, okay, tonight we need to do, do, do some homework. Yes. I yes. thought I graduated. Right? Yes. There was a lot of studying and I hated it. You know, it was so much technical stuff that I had to read up and I could not remember it. It's not like we can reference the booklet, you know. So, I cheat a bit and I write on my hand. Uh. Don't know if you guys saw. After it's ready, ready, huh? Beaver, turn right, heading 120. Beaver, turn right, heading 120. You guys have 10 minutes to bring as many aircraft out as possible within the maze. So your objective is to bring aircraft out of the maze but not touching any boundary. Beaver, turn right, heading 3... Wow, where am I going for this now? Beaver, turn left, heading 270. Compro, turn right, heading 090. Turn right heading three about nine zero. Compro, not Carlton. Oh no, did you turn yes. him? Oh no. Carlton, turn right heading one three zero. Carlton didn't get the cue. Dragon, turn left heading three. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon turn. Dragon turn right heading one. Eighty. Eight zero. Beaver turn right heading zero three zero. Thanks up. Dragon. Good job, man. Yes. I need to talk to the pilot. Okay. All inside. I want to talk to this pilot. Talk to this pilot. Come, come, come. So, um, I just want to talk to you, Dragon. If you keep this up, we're going to fire you. Okay? Now, I need you to get your act together. I didn't even press this. It's not doing anything. Oh. Dragon's listening to you, by the way. Now, I would like to announce the winner of the VR test. Team Paul. Oh, okay. Mini, mini challenge. Okay, mini, mini challenge. challenge. Mini challenge. Mini challenge. But, but that was a good warm up. Yeah, yeah. it was. Training for us to lead into the, to the main good challenge. Sorry, yeah. I lost my cool as a lady. <laughs> ah, it's okay. She was not listening. <laughs> okay, so since Team Paul, you won this test, so you guys got the opportunity to choose whether you want to go first or last um, for the challenge. I think they can go first, then we get more studying time. Okay. I mean, that's okay because I don't study anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Tengah Ground Tiger F-16, holding Abram Alpha, request taxi for Western Coast departure. Request departure clearance for Robin. Robin, depart Western Coast, 2,000 feet, contact approach. Robin, depart Western Coast, 2,000 feet, contact approach. To be honest, this is by far most, the most stressful challenge. Why do you guys put us through this challenge? Uh, Robin, 3 DME, ILS approach, runway 36. I cannot hear Bobby. Just ask Bobin, clear ILS approach, runway 36. Clear, clear land, right? I know that I asked the instructor many, many times for <laughs> guidance. So, Robin, clear land, runway 36. Robin, clear land, runway 36. Surface wind? Surface wind 010, 12 knots. I really, really cannot remember the commands because I know what to do. But I just can't remember the commands, you know, at that moment. That's it, Roger. Your RT, clear takeoff. Oh, clear takeoff. There's no clear to takeoff. Oh, yeah. Yes, don't use the word to. Yes, sir. Notification oh. Tiger S16 for Western Coast departure. <laughs> Tiger depart Western Coast 2000 feet, contact approach. Ooh, this gives me anxiety. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Uh, notification, muscle F-16 for West Coast departure. I don't know. Say what you usually say. Depart Western Coast. Oh, depart Western Coast 2000 feet, contact approach report Murai. Tell her to say, just say Roger. <laughs> Sweetheart, I think you're just supposed to say Roger. Oh, Roger! I think Benzo told me that they were laughing when I was like calling them up. I didn't know I had to be serious. Honestly, the instructor was behind and he was not amused by my by my sense of humor. I we we had to break character halfway. Like I couldn't do it anymore. It was so funny. Like picking up the phone and hearing her just talk in a way that it was just throwing us all off the seriousness of the game. It was just there was just a little circus going on, but it was really fun. Yes, boo boo. Hey boo. Tarzan for West Coast yeah, departure. Say, oh, say that again. Say again. Wait, Tarzan F16 for West Coast departure. Roger. Never pick up. Hello. Hello. Hey, you again. Uh, approach. Can you notify me earlier next time? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to notify you about, but sure. <laughs> Yeah, of course, this is Connect. I unidentified traffic. She ain't picking up. She busy or whatever. Pick up mouse heading towards Singapore because for fighter scramble. I yep. don't know. Somebody in the me! Yes! Yeah, of course, this is Connect. I unidentified traffic uh, spotted along the trips of Malacca around 75 nautical miles heading towards Singapore request for fighter scramble. She ain't picking up. She busy or whatever. Do you get it? Do you get it? No! There's an unidentified aircraft towards the west of Singapore. So... You better get out of the way before I shoot you down. But wait, my friend's calling me. Can I pick it up? Yep, pick it up. Yes? Notification, uh, Sega MRTT for Western Coast departure. What was it? I, I missed it. Say again. Uh, <laughs> Sega MRTT for Western Coast departure. The call sign is Sega. Sega, okay, okay. okay. Sega depart Western Coast 2000 feet. Contact approach for Morai. No, usually you just say Roger. Oh, Roger! 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 My voice is Roger. Okay, got okay. you, Roger. Dunhill, clear roll, runway 36, surface wind 010. Uh, nine or knots. Barrier hook wire up. Check gears. Notification, Tiger Western Coast departure. F16. Western F16, Coast Tiger. Departure. Roger. 
At first, I was a little bit worried about being ground control because they gave us a whole bunch of notes. There was a lot of words. But then once I got my hands on the whole system, it was actually pretty straightforward. Like, everything was very clear to me. I understood my role in the whole system and it went very smoothly, actually. Notification, Archer, F-16, uh, Western Coast Departure. Highway 76, Shepherd, Taxi, proceed, checkpoint one. Shepherd, Highway 76, proceed, checkpoint one. Notification, Cotton 1, F-16, Cotton. Western Coast Departure. Cotton, F-16, West Coast Departure, Roger. Request departure clearance, Sega. Sega, Western Departure, 2,000 feet. I think at one point I was taking care of five or six aircraft at one time, flying in you know, multiple loops and directions. We had the bogey aircraft coming in as well from the sea up into the Singapore airspace, so we had to deal with that as well, and we had to activate the two fighters to escort that aircraft in because we didn't know who they were. November 426 Tango, Singapore fighters have been sent to intercept you. Comply and follow instructions or you will be shot down. It wasn't easy. And then, you know, you had to make a phone call and then you had to, you know, read out, again, the protocols and then you had to watch other aircraft around and, oh, man, it was, it was, it, that was a tough challenge. Mentally, that was a very difficult challenge. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Sega experiencing engine smoke. Request immediate view straight in runway 36. Sega, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Uh, smoke in engine. Uh, visual straight in. Notification. How, how, many, many, how many POB? How many persons on board? Five, five packs. Sega, Mayday call due to smoke and engine. Uh, request. Visual uh, straight in approach. Visual straight in approach. Priority one. Priority one, Alpha. Action taken. Roger, action taken. Spartan Shepherd Fire Station, proceed Echo Charlie via Echo Taxiway. Shepherd Spartan Fire Station, proceed via Echo Taxiway, Echo Charlie. <gasps> okay, it's coming down. <gasps> Yikes! Oh my goodness! Okay, you we prepare to clear the. Yeah, I prepare to clear it. All stations, emergency aircraft landed. Runway 36. RRT, uh, Echo Charlie, enter runway for emergency aircraft. Runway closed? Runway, oh. Is, is, it, is it runway oh, close? Runway close. Okay. Okay, Right. RRT, Shepard, Echo Charlie. Uh, enter runway for. Enter runway, runway for. Emergency aircraft. Emergency aircraft, runway close. Shepard, RRT, Roger. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sega, Roger. Sega is uh, shutting down on the runway. Roger. Right. Is that yeah. the end of the. Oh my gosh! That's it! That's it. Oh my nice. gosh! Nice! Alright. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have come to the end of the challenge. At last, I think you all deserve a round of applause. Yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 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 Okay, but before I announce, uh, let me just say something about the winning team and what defined them. I think the members of the winning team exhibited the qualities of air traffic control. Um, obviously, they are able to do so, give the commands without much prompting. Uh, and even if we had to prompt, it is very minimal. And also, they are able to work as a team. And I think the last quality I just want to mention is they are able to do a lot of things at one time. Right. Yeah, so not just controlling, but able to receive information, talk over the landline, stuff like that. So the winner is... Team Paul. Hey. Both teams did very well, um, more than what I expected. Both Benzo and Vanessa do stood out. Tiger depart Western Coast 2000 feet, clear to take off. Runway 36. Benzo, the RT was quite fluent. She's able to catch all the instructions that are given him during the session. And for Vanessa itself, uh, she was able to recite the RT without looking at any script. Robin, tower, depart Western Coast 2000 feet. Clear runway, clear takeoff runway 36. Surface wind 010, niner knots. Uh, barrier hook wire up. And also able to stay calm during the uh, injects that has been given during the exercise. So, I have something for the winning team. Oh, oh really? Wow. Why are you Why did you never say earlier? If you say go You say earlier, I'm 26 minutes at least again. Okay. So this that's is a, a cute badge. Yeah, this is a badge that Whoa. says uh, Camel Khakis oh. RSCF wow. ATC Challenge. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. So you can wear it on your uniform. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Let me just put oh, it on yeah. for you. Thank you, sir. No consolation? 
Yeah, yeah, love, love, love. Get it. Yeah, like a happy. Yeah, I, I want a happy. Wow, thank you, sir. So there's something more to this patch. By earning it, uh, you can actually use it in any of the subsequent uh, Air Force challenges, and you have a 10 second head start. Thank you can you. choose to use it in any one of them. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. Wow. For the challenges that we face uh, in our daily work is uh, the defects that we face um, after the aircraft uh, landed. Complicated defects, it may take as long as a few weeks for those easy defects that we can solve it within a day itself. So to do so, we have to be competent in our system knowledge. We have to adopt uh, strong teamwork and we have to have good hand skills as well so that our pilots or air crew, they can fly safely. Ah, here oh. they come! Oh. <laughs> Here's the handful. Already so full. Nice. All right, guys, let's fall in. I know all of you are excited, Super. but we have our trainers here who are right. going to explain what's happening. All right, so I am ME2 Derek. I'm ME2 Joyce, the Air Force engineer maintaining the F-15SGs. Hmm. Yeah, and so today you'll be learning how to place the aircraft on jacks. And next, you'll be learning how to replace the main tyres of the aircraft. And lastly, you'll be performing a landing gear operational check. Wow. Wow. Sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, right, so you guys okay. excited to start? Yes! yes. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right. Okay, so guys, today our first task is to jack the aircraft. So this is the automatic jacking system that we use to jack the aircraft on a daily basis. But for today's challenge, you shall do it manually. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. So guys, right. let's go. All right, okay, let's go. So right now, you'll be learning how to jack up the aircraft. Before we start that, make sure that you have your bum caps on as you're going under the aircraft. Before going under the aircraft, make sure that you're watching out for sharp edges. And as you walk under, hold on to them and uh, duck sufficiently and go under it. This is yeah. where they're Right, so before you start, we have to make sure that this valve is uh, closed and really tight. tight. Okay. Really okay. tight. This we had to train for three challenges. One was jacking up the aircraft, the F-15. That was just physical, pure physical pumping. And the faster you do it and the harder you do it, the better. Especially because it was a time challenge. Good job, man. Push! See, the jacking up obviously was very difficult. I knew me and Farah, we were going to lose out in strength. This was really a competition between Benzo and Paul. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at him go. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's gonna spin, it's gonna spin! Oh, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off! Yay! Yes. I think you're up. All right. All right, competition of the fittest or the strongest, I guess. Okay, so now, Joyce will be demonstrating the removal of the aircraft wheel. So the first step on your checklist is to remove the hubcaps attaching parts. Changing off the wheels, it sounds easy, but actually it's not. Because it's heavy, you need to take note of the small details and also which tools you need to know to use it to unscrew. But thankfully, the instructors are all very nice. We can refer to our notes. Where are you looking specifically? Right. Yeah, wait. Ah. It's concentrating. So what I'm looking at specifically is actually these little um, uh, grooves. grooves. So I'm taking it from the top, okay. pushing it out. I loved changing the tire because it is very systematic. I love a systematic approach to anything, right? So it was very therapeutic. It was like I'm doing surgery, you know? Oh, okay. How heavy is this tire? Oh. Make a guess. Uh, I would say it's twice my weight. Almost there. Maybe okay. 60 kg? Almost there. It's 88 kg. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's kg. Really Big boy. Wow. Big boy. It's oh, heavier it's than that. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow, my back. Oh, my back. Okay. Now it. <laughs> need to beep. Is this the wiggle? Yeah, you have to doing? pull it uh, towards you slightly and then rotate it. A bit more, a bit more. A bit more? <laughs> this thing is not moving. Okay. Push. Push it. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow, that's oh completely by feel. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think the whole experience today with the F-15 and uh, having to jack it, having to, you know, do the, the comms and the hydraulic press and, and all of these things, it's very technical and that's not something that I'm used to. Um, so it was very easy for me to get overwhelmed in the beginning because there's a lot of uh, really nitty-gritty details that you have to take note of while still being gentle with the machinery. You don't want to spoil anything, but you have to keep all the steps in mind as well. So that was uh, kind of nerve-wracking for me initially. I was very, very nervous about it. But I think um, our teamwork and our coordination and just communicating with my team members, Paul and uh, Cheryl, that really helped us a lot. Switch off. This is the So, yeah, so that was here. Yeah, it's all flash. Training was good. I think that's what we identified. We identified who was good at, at what, who could remember things better, and we would help each other out. Just get our coordination going smooth between us. So, I on. In the training for the landing gear, First, we learn safety procedure. Secondly, communication. At my job, as the IC, I need to tell them what to do and we cannot cut each other. Because once we cut each other, we will know who did what already. And it's very important that we actually like done and then we tell each other, okay, we are done. So that we know, okay, who's done and who, who needs more time. So communication is the key and also because it's very loud, it's hard to hear. Are you guys ready? Yes! There will be three challenges today. First, we will be doing the jacking of the aircraft, where the second challenge, we will be replacing of the wheels. The third challenge, we will be doing the landing gear retraction and extension of the landing gear. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yes. yeah good to go. Okay, the, for the criteria, firstly, we will be talking about the fastest time, whereas the second one, most importantly, everybody needs to work safe. That's yes. the most important. Are you guys clear? Yes. yes. Ready, get set, go! Let's go! I can feel it from the lunch. Oh my use your body, use your body. Yeah. Your lunch. Use your body. Oh, oh man, I see one turn. Use your body. Oh man, I see one turn. Use your body. Ah, you be great. Yeah, use that force from the lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got it. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, pass. Pass. Let's go. Let's go. Change. Well, Team Paul got an advantage because they changed their sequence last minute. Oh, come on, man. Is it a movie? It's not a movie. It's not a movie. It's not a movie. Because like, once you jack up like faster, so the plane goes lopsided, right? So the fuel, kind of like the weight, starts to go to the other side, which is our side. So actually, we had trouble jacking up. So we had a strategy where we put Paul in first to push the airplane up as much as possible before we rotate the turns. So this will put a lot of pressure on the other team's hydraulic press. And it really worked out. It really paid off. We finished so much faster than them and they couldn't even finish their challenge. Paul had to go over there and do the challenge for them. Is it not moving at all? No, it's moving at all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we do again. Ah. We're not redoing really that. Ah. <laughs> oh. Nothing happened. I mean... It works. <laughs> <laughs> no strength, la. No strength, la. I don't know. A lucky hand. Really? You already do it! It's coming, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's very good at doing this job. Paul, conserve your strength. Let's go, Paul. Yep, you got okay. it. I saw that the uh, team line was struggling. You know, we were done, we were waiting. I'm like, you know, we, we, need to, we need to move fast here. 
There's no point wasting time. I'll jump in and help. <laughs> all right, first of all, uh, screw. <laughs> we move the screw. Too slow, bro. Yeah. Get the correct one. Okay. I feel like we're surgeons. Okay, now you need uh, to remove the XO. No, I need to take off the pin inside. Oh, yeah, take the pin. Oh. Okay, here you know which one? go. Yes. yes, that's the correct one. Take out the pin. So my role was to unscrew, take out all the little parts, make sure the XO is out. So basically, the nitty-gritty stuff, the finer details. Farah was assigned the help, so she was basically my assistant. I assigned myself to be the assistant because I can't really think on my feet, but you know, I can plan what to do next, and I'm a good assistant, I feel. And in, and in, and in. Nice. Nice. Oh, sorry. Alright, nice. Now All we're right, gonna talk about Titan. You said to 750 already? So. Push it in. Fire, yeah. you want to help? Push yeah. it in. Push it in for me. Hands. That's it. Okay, careful. Pin, bend. Yeah, okay. that's done. Pin. No, it's done. Oh. Okay. Oh. Do we spin? We forgot to yes. spin. You need to spin one round. Oh man, we forgot to spin the wheel! All right, let's But we still it. did it. Okay. In. Okay. Close, close. Oh. I'm really proud of my team. We really strung together the steps, we did everything so smoothly, everyone remembered what they needed to do, and everything was just so smooth. I would rate my team's performance as utterly amazing. We were a well-oiled machine in a field of oiled machines. <laughs> me? Let me clean it, let me clean it. Okay, okay. alright. I think we were really efficient at communicating, we were looking out for each other. Um, we kept safety paramount uh, as and very, very important. And I, I think it was just a really great example of teamwork today. So I'm very pleased with our team's performance. All right. Quick. Now we're back to that. Rotate. I'm quick. This one, this one. This? We're almost home free. Nice. Good. Next one. Keep going. Good job. Awesome. Good. Good. Done. 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 Well done, guys. Really I good. think we were very, we were very quiet. It's very but we were, like, <laughs> we were like super quiet because all I was trying to Not do was make sure we Not get bad. everything done. Yes. So, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Are we all good to go? I'm good okay. to go. Uh, hands off first. I'm hands off. Move the safety pins. Anya, can you set the lighting gear? Okay. And make sure that your red light is on. Yeah. It's orange, but yeah, it's red. Alright. Okay. Very good. Uh, Farah? Yeah? Can you turn to 1005? Alright. Farah was doing the hydraulics and Benzo was giving instructions. We were all very comfortable with our role. To be very honest, I think this didn't feel like a challenge. It just felt like an opportunity to explore. You know, my team is just very relaxed. We managed to get a few like dances in, which I don't think the other team did. They were very, very serious. But you know, it's all fun. At the end of the day, we're not professionals. Okay, all is good. So let's get the landing gear back down, Cheryl. Okay, landing gear back down, bed light on. Roger. Vanessa, can we get PSI back up to 1,500, please? Roger, on the way. Good job, guys. This is going very smooth. I like it. I like it. Yes, I'm slowly climbing. Roger. Thank you. Approaching 1,000. Yep. Doors open. Landing gear coming down. Whoa. Three green lights off. Red light. Eh? Green lights on. Red light off. Yes. Thank you very much. Landing Getting gear there. is down. We are 1,005. Okay, Roger. Good. Vanessa, you can go back down to zero psi, please. Got it. Going back down. We're down to zero. Down to zero. Great. Going to put the safety pins in. Uh, I was very happy with today's challenges. I thought today we were pretty close to 100%. And I don't say that lightly because, again, we had to learn a lot in a short amount of time. So applying all that into our challenges today was just, was just awesome. All right, guys. Good job. Well done. 
Alright, power off. Power off. Power off. Good job, good job. Good job. That, <laughs> that was awesome. We are all done. Good job, everybody. We are done. Hey. I hope you all have enjoyed the challenge. Yes. yes. Okay, I hope all the training you have learned, you have applied today. I have observed it. Okay, most importantly, I have observed what I wanted to see. Safety. Yes. 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 Of course, every challenge we have a winner. I'm going to announce the winner for today. Woo. The winner mm -hmm. is... Team... Team Po. Yes. Congrats! Thank you. Congrats again. Thank you very much. It's, it, it's been great. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me and Lanya for two episodes right. and four <laughs> challenges. Mm -hmm. But because we won today, this episode is a draw. I am so ah. glad. Put it in. I'm so glad. We just don't win. Just want to have it all. Don't find yeah. way. Yeah. Although I like to see Paul and all of them run, but it's okay. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. And with that, we come to the end, and we will see you guys in the next episode of Camel Kaki's Home Run Bowling! Camel Conkey's Whole Lot Fallen is brought to you by